Amid the turbulent controversies surrounding the ship of Deion Sanders, the head coach has assured his team of a better tomorrow. Controversies that range from gun abundance to violent fights within the team are currently making the headlines in the world of college football. Though there have been no official sources to vouch for the report from Athlon, the reputation of the Buffaloes has taken a hit, but Dion is making sure to steer the team away from the floods. The Colorado Buffaloes took a big hit this year when they witnessed a mass exodus of 23 players. However, Dion Sanders' dynamic personality brought many new additions to the roster without being too affected by the players who jumped ship. With a supposed environment that would scare the new players off with safety concerns, Dion reminds the team of the common purpose, the Buffalo's glory in the league. The well-off media YouTube channel released an episode on August 6th that saw Dion giving the team one of his usual pep talks. Though he has been officially silent in addressing all the speculations, he termed the stories a bald lie. These rumors are currently holding a dagger against Dion's reputation as a coach who cares for his players, but according to him, it's almost unbelievable how outlandish these stories are. While posing the new players with the questions of whether they're the ones who are making up all those stories, Dion told his players that this is an extremely normal situation that happens way too often in the team. The critics of Colorado love to spew hate toward them in the name of made-up lies. He further added, I can't believe some of the darn stuff that I read about us. It is crazy, isn't it? Some of you new guys, now that you in here, I know you gotta be saying, this don't even make no sense. Where they get this stuff from, y'all? Who's making up these lies because the best lie ever told is a lie that has a little bit of truth in it. Let's not give them anything to say. The latter part of the message seems like a promise to the team that they need to perform brilliantly, which would become enough of a reason to halt the hate train. Ironically, when it comes to violence and the truth behind it, Warren Sapp is the biggest flaw in Dion's fight against the alleged toxicities within the team. The former defensive tackle for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers is a legend of the game. A Hall of Famer and a player feared so much, he was called the quarterback killer. Although a gem of the NFL, Sapp and his troubled past are an eye-opener and speak volumes about Dion's hiring choice. Back in 2020, Sapp was arrested on two counts of assault and one count of soliciting prostitution. As per the report filed by Phoenix Police, Sapp had physically assaulted two women in his hotel room. We wish that were the only mention of his transgressions, but let's return to 2015. Sapp pleaded guilty to domestic violence against his girlfriend of five years, Chalice Moore, where he had pulled her arm, threw her on the floor, and even bit her finger. As a coach who's a vital addition to the team of the Colorado Buffaloes, what example does it set for the players to have a mentor who has been arrested on several charges?